Okay, looks like we're live. Uh, hello again, this is Randall with Parcel. You know the deal by now. I uh, wanted to take some time to give you an update on uh, Torcellari and where we are with this momentous Supreme Court uh, case that will be heard again later this month. So as a recap, Torcellari uh, brought his case to uh, the county level court in Pennsylvania uh, and he's listed on the sex offense registry. So in his case, he uh, argued that he does not belong on a public sex offense registry. Why? Because it's an infringement on his rights and uh, it's, it's, it's stating that he is a high risk uh, to the public, a high risk of committing another crime, and he is not a high risk to committing other crimes. This was his argument. And so to back this argument up, he had a lot of research uh, from people in the field who have been studying this issue for a long time uh, to argue that people on sex offense registries who have completed their sentence and who have been out for years are not a high risk of uh, recidivating or of committing another crime. Uh, and so, long story short, uh, Mr. Torcellari won that case in the, the county level court, he won that case in the appeals court, and then he took it to the Supreme Court after the Commonwealth appealed. The Supreme Court uh, heard that case in 2019 and decided that it needed more information. So the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania sent it back down to the trial level court, in this case, the Chester County Court of Common Pleas, and asked that court at the county level to uh, get more information from the state as to why the state believes that people who are listed on sex offender registries are such a high risk. So that happened last year. They had arguments in the county level court and a decision came out last year in the Chester County Court of Common Pleas from Judge Royer, and I will quote, <clears throat> And now, this 22nd day of August 2022, in response to the June 16th, 2020 directive of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court, after reviewing the record established June 28th, 29th, and 30th of 2021, and post-hearing submissions of the Commonwealth and the defendant, it is hereby ordered and decreed that defendant's supplemental post-sentence motion filed nunc pro tunc filed February 27th, 2018, and here comes the important part, is and or remains granted on the grounds that SORNA is unconstitutional both facially and as applied to this defendant on the basis that it employs an irrebuttable presumption that is not universally applicable and because its punitive nature offends a lane and apprendi results in a criminal sentence in excess of the statutory maximums violates federal and state prescriptions against cruel and unusual punishment and breaches the separation of powers doctrine and this document you can find on our website uh, we'll put a link in the uh, in the description I'm having a hard time finding the the page here there it is uh, we'll put a link in the description so you can read that yourself but uh, the important parts is that uh, it is facially and uh, as applied to this defendant unconstitutional so what the judge is saying that is not just torcellary who this law offends it is it is everyone who this law uh, that this law applies to a defense. Uh, the rest of it cites some uh, court decisions from years ago, Elaine and Apprendi, and it gets pretty technical there, but it has to do with a person having to know their uh, maximum and minimum sentences. Uh, and when you have the registry, you know, you might be on for 25 years, but you might be able to get off after 15, and you might be on for life. Uh, and so it, it, it causes some problems there. Now, the specifics of what I just read, we're going to get into, we're going to take a deep dive into later this month on May 13th, it's a Saturday night. Uh, one of our legal guys is going to analyze what I just read and, and really tease it apart and, and explain uh, what, uh, what all that means and why this is uh, going to be such an important case, why the, the judge wrote it so strongly and you know, his predictions or, or thoughts on how the Supreme Court may decide so again, what I just read is a Chester County Court of Common Pleas decision. It is not uh, applicable to the whole state. Uh, the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania will hear this case uh, on May 23rd in Harrisburg. 
So if you're so inclined, come on down to Harrisburg and you can hear the Supreme Court uh, hear the final kind of closing oral arguments in Torcellary on May 23rd. Again, on May 13th, Saturday night, we're going to have a members only event where one of our legal guys is going to go into great detail as to why Judge Royer feels that the registry is unconstitutional and results in cruel and unusual punishment and all of the other reasons that I just mentioned. So please join us. I'll put more information on that in the, uh, in the description. Uh, and again, what can we expect from Torcellary? Well, we're going to have uh, final closing oral arguments in front of the Supreme Court May 23rd of this year. The Supreme Court is going to hear from the Commonwealth as to why all of these people are such a high risk and why they need to have some of their freedoms curtailed in the name of public safety. And the court is going to hear from Torcellary's team, which argues, hey, we've got decades of research that shows that people in this category are not high risk, they're not going to reoffend. Uh, they're not likely to reoffend, and that uh, putting them on this registry sometimes for the rest of their lives is a serious infringement on their uh, indefeasible rights that was given to them that were, you know, is uh, enshrined and explained in our Pennsylvania Constitution as well as the, the United States Constitution. Uh, so those or oral arguments will be heard on May 23rd, and uh, the the justices will, you know, take who knows how long to make a decision. Uh, some predictions are saying sometime around Thanksgiving we can have a decision as to what the fate of uh, Pennsylvania sex offense registry will be. But again, that is uh, speculation purely. It could be before Thanksgiving, it could be after Thanksgiving. We really don't know. So that's where we are with Torcellary. Uh, you know, stay tuned to our channel for more uh, videos and, and uh, more analysis and uh, do register for that uh, event that is taking place Saturday night, uh, May 13th. See you next time.